First look at MIUI 12.5 based on Android 11 closed beta running on the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and Xiaomi has started rolling out the closed beta of Android 12 based on MIUI 12.5 for the POCO F3, the Redmi K40 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Now for those of you who do not know, the Redmi K40 is sold as the Mi 11X in India and POCO F3 for rest of the world and I do have the latest closed beta installed on my POCO F3 right now. So as you can see this is MIUI 12.5. The build is from 13th October 2021 and if I go into all specs Android version you will notice here is 12. We do have the Android 12 easter egg and other than that you will notice that the security patch is from September 2021. Now we are going to address the elephant in the room and no this one does not have material you theming. What you get here is pure MIUI. So this is how the power menu looks like. This is your control center over here. You can of course swipe to access your notifications. This is how the volume panel looks like. You can of course expand your volume panel as well. So nothing from stock Android UI is present in MIUI. Then as for the widgets, so out of the box, you will not get the clock widget. You do have to install the Android 12 Google Clock 7.1 APK, which is linked in the description of the video. And then if you press and hold on the empty space, you will get this UI wherein if you tap on this option, it is going to take you to your gallery. You can change the wallpapers and stuff. And if you go into widgets, it is going to, for starters, connect to the internet, yes. To access your widgets on MIUI, you now have to make sure your device is connected to the internet. Then the scrolling of course is pretty smooth on this and you ha will have to look for a section of apps with widget support. Tap on this, it is going to open up another window or another pane. Herein, if you look for clock, you should get MIUI clock but if you go back and then go into classic widgets, now scroll all the way down. Yep. A pretty long way to get a small widget right anyways if you scroll all the way down you have the clock here and these are the widgets from google clock 7.1 for android 12. unfortunately you do not have the widget wherein you can choose the clock face but you do have the stopwatch and bam here it is this is how the stopwatch looks like and other than that let me go back to the widgets you do have the other widget of the digital clock as well wherein you can choose the transparency so here it is apps with widget support wait for it wait for it keep on waiting okay finally got it of course this is a beta so these things are expected but here it is so you can now choose your clock whether you want solid or do you want it transparent bam here it is this is how the transparent clock looks like other than that the next feature of android 12 which you will find with xiaomi's implementation of miui is one handed mode so you can go into settings additional settings one handed mode once you enable this swipe down on this pill and you should be able to access one handed mode bam there it is working without any issues and that's it those are the stock android 12 features which you will find in this specific closed beta i do not know if down the line xiaomi has plans to add more android 12 features but generally xiaomi adds features with miui versions rather than android versions next change you will notice is in your control center so you now have this sticky media player at the bottom and once you tap on this it is going to open up another media player window wherein you can choose your output and all the other things and you also have your smart home devices option here at the bottom in the control center and of course when you swipe down the brightness bar is pinned and then to access those options again you have to swipe up then we can move over to settings so the settings ui is still the same something which you expect from me ui now the previous build did not have the refresh rate option in display but this latest closed beta has those options so if i go into refresh rate I can choose between 60 and 120 you can see on the top left i am running at 120 right now go into ai image option you have your memc and other options so those options have now come back but nothing new then if you go into sound and touch this is how the ui is going to look like again same options but if you go into touch you have something called natural touch so 
when this is playing and you're holding your phone you will feel the vibration on your device you can of course control your haptic feedback and then if you go into demos you can choose between different configuration do you want crisp bass or pop and again once you select each of these options it is going to give you a vibration feel so that you know how it feels in your hand and you also have something called realistic touch so this is something new which they are planning to add with the next miui update for your poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k 40. then if you go back into your settings page herein you will notice that this option has now changed to fingerprints face data and screen lock i think previously it was fingerprints and screen lock and they have added back the option of fingerprint and face unlock and they are working without any issues here it is fingerprint works and similarly face unlock is also working on this specific build now next up if you jump over to battery so herein you will notice you now have your profile options so you have the performance mode and of course device performance will improve with this and with increased power consumption it might lead to overheating issues so they are so confident that the device is going to overheat they give you a warning beforehand select ok and you can also choose a power saving profile or a balanced profile in case you want to go into battery you have the regular options of optimized charging automated task schedule and of course here it is you do have your battery usage along with the battery health status of your battery right now other than that with respect to the camera no new features have been added and the same applies for your gallery and stuff again as i mentioned earlier for starters this is a closed beta so we do not know if they are going to add android 12 features or not and then the other thing is that xiaomi tends to add features with miui releases rather than with android version updates but again the animations are smooth on this and switching between apps is also smooth you do have miui launcher so you do not have to worry about the crappy poco launcher and its animations and of course you can customize your launcher layout as well so you do have memory status blur app reviews arrange items in your recents horizontally or vertically so bam here it is press and hold you do get the options and again the animations here are pretty smooth so far but we do not know how the final build or how the global build is going to look like and there it is peeps just a small preview of android 12 based miui 12.5 running on the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you